What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Bill and in today's video we're playing with the Bronco again. Now a while ago I did a video on these Molly panels that I did on the side. Uh, there was a couple of things I didn't love about them. I mean I liked it and I liked the uh, the bar that or the shelf that went across as a unit uh, but I found I never used the shelf. I took it out one time because I had to put something big back here where I folded down the seats and I never put the shelf back in. So then I was like, well, if I'm not using the shelf, I can go ahead and switch to a Molly panel that actually fits the window a little bit better. Now, uh, you see here, I have the fire extinguisher. It wraps around the bar here, uh, which with this in place, it couldn't get it wrapped around there. Uh, in a good way where this now you can see we do now this panel is the new panel it's from uh, turn off road and as you see it is cut to the size and fit for the Bronco a bit better you know, it attaches here in the nut cert that's in there same front uh, uses the seat belt and then fastener down here and so it's just those three points it's nice and sturdy and uh should be good to go this is the old one i took off and again this was sent to me i liked it i did have to do some modifications to it because of having the best top top and having the way these mounts mounted but i i really have no no bad things to say about this other than i'm not a fan of how it fit like inside here what wasn't cut to the right size and then i was not a fan of how i had the right 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 on everything like engraved in like and here obviously it's left left and left uh it made it easy for installation but then you have to constantly look in the rear view mirror and see left or right or anything um so I was glad to be getting rid of that. And then I opened the box for the turn off road one. And look, it's got the left and right engraved in it. Fortunately though, they did it where you're not gonna see it. The right is actually back behind this panel. So when you install this one, you won't actually see the left and right. And then all the other brackets are universal anyway so it and it doesn't have anything in there so i was very sad when i first saw that but then after i got this installed and realized oh that's it's not going to be seen much happier about that so yeah i'm going to go ahead get this one un uninstalled and show you the installation process from a fresh install i did run into one issue with having not having a soft top and i'll point that out once we get to it because I guess the Bronco that these were the uh, use the Bronco used for building these had a soft top on there, or uh, soft top brackets at least, and it uses those where I don't have that. If you had just a hard top um, originally, you wouldn't have those brackets or those bolts. Um, but I'll show you that here in a minute. I'll go ahead and get this off first, and then pick up from there. All right, so I got the other one uninstalled, and this is what you would most likely be looking at. You may have the brackets coming up if you have the soft top, but regardless, you'll have this panel here. And pull it off. Now, this is what I was saying normally there if you have a soft top there's a bracket here turn off road instructions say take this screw out and put this panel in, into place and then put that screw back however as you see if you don't have a soft top or never had a soft top then you don't have that bracket and i don't have that screw fortunately though i do have these screws and this is actually um was a screw from the original rear diff 
but it also happens to fit that perfectly so I just need to get a washer to put on there and then we can install that then we can just take this bolt get that bolt started you don't want to put it tight yet the next piece is going to be this one and we can jump around into the back this I already had off I had to take the other one off so I didn't put everything back but it's a T50 and you're just going to loosen that it's going to going to have a cap on it which you can just pull right off and then there's two little prongs there one there and it snaps back into place so I pull that off and then take the T50 and loosen it up now there is a little the first time you take this off there is a little retainer on here um, and the instructions say you take the retainer off you know just uh, some diagonal cutters or you could screw the thing off but hey, it's a thin piece of metal you can just cut it off with some diagonal cutters and then you're going to take that so the bolt's going to go there just going to slide the bracket on so you want that bend to go towards the inside of the bronco and then we'll put that spacer back on there and that can go back in and then this is going to have some play in it you want to go ahead tighten snug this down but not tighten it fully because you want to have some adjustment in that you might get everything and then there's just one more bracket which is this little guy right here all right so now we got this bolt it's going to have a lock washer and a washer and it's going to go through this plug here or this bah, bah, bah. bracket here and that's just going to go in to the nut cert that's already part of the Bronco all right and again not tight but just and you want it to face towards the inside. Now everything's got a screw, a washer, another washer, and then a nut that goes on it. And to get this started, there's this hole here. Just put a screw through there. We'll grab another washer and a nut. Same thing for down here. Another washer, another net. And there, we are in place. Yeah, the Screw and wash there, there, and then the two down here. I gotta find the other washer. But uh, from there, we'll just get everything into position where we want it and tighten up all these screws down. Now we have these little slots here, uh, which looks much better than an L and an R. The same here with these brackets, they're not mounted up here, just the one under there. And that's very sturdy. We'll go drive around, make sure we don't have any rattles anywhere. I don't think we're going to. I and mean, that is nice and sturdy. So I got my, my first aid kit there. Now I can put the fire extinguisher there because you can actually get around this entire bar. So if you had anything else to go there, um, I have my X. I'll put back over on this one. And we have everything we need to go wasn't too familiar with turning off road but the way they handled their hardtop rollout and everything I'm a big fan of them now um, and just checking out their site and saw these and like yeah I don't love the ones I have 
I'd like to support the company, see how they handle business. Like I said, I'm not, and don't ever use that tray anyway. So having the extra ledge here so I can put the tray across uh, is not needed anymore. And so then it just makes sense to have these where they, they fit inside a little bit better. I still have the same amount of Molly access or panel to attach things, but then I also have these bars freed up to do uh, anything I want to with them, like put a fire extinguisher or anything else on them. Yeah, this is something, this is something I ordered, not something they sent me, but I am very happy with it. Uh, some, I, there's a lot of companies that make similar panels and Turn Off Roads was actually very inexpensive compared to what other people have uh, available out there. And it's exactly what I wanted, where it cut out everything, where it fit inside of the, uh, the roll bar in everything so yeah happy with it I'm not affiliated with that turn off road or have a, a link for them or anything uh, i'll put a link to their homepage down um in the description yeah i think that's it i appreciate you watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit the thumbs up button if you would like to see more videos like this in the future hit the subscribe button uh, be sure to hit the bell notification that way you are notified when new uploads new videos are uploaded and I will see you next time.